Good morning my dear friends. In this video, we are going to see the design and installation issues related to drainage system. So let's start this video with a project. So first thing we need to see what are the items we have in this project. So this is the site office building and in the site office building we have three offices, three, three typical office uh, as you see here we have three TV office, typical office with G plus one arrangement ok. So one office for the client and consultant, one office for the main contractor and one office for the subcontractors. So next to this site office we have the main office located very near to this area. So we set the temporary site office here. In this design. I didn't cover the internal building design ok. So in this video I am starting from external drainage pipes including manholes, gully traps till the final holding tank connection. So along with the three offices we have here a toilet block, we have here a first, uh, first aid office and here I have given the location to place holding tank on water tank and generators. The first thing you need to see here is location of holding tank ok. So I place the holding tank here ok instead of other area like here or here or somewhere here because here uh, as per our architectural thing, team we have to keep the parking area but I had another option I can keep the holding tank here also but if I keep the if I keep the holding tank here I will face one important thing that is if you see here we have the road here as well as uh, if you go above and here also we have the road ok. So I need the I need to place the holding tank in such a way that uh, if once the holding tank is filled the external tanker should come and it has to take the sewer from sewer or collected sewer from the holding tank ok. So that is the reason I place the holding tank here very near to the road otherwise I can place in this side also because here also I have the road so but not here ok because this side I don't have the road ok. So the first step you have to see as a mechanical engineer. Here for all the buildings, the waste water from kitchen sink and wash basin is collected separately which I indicated as this green color ok. If you see here it is a green color uh, that is for the waste water. So similarly for the soil water from water closet that is collected separately which I indicated as blue color ok. The same concept I have repeated for all the buildings here water from the building before uh, before discharging this waste water to the manhole first it is discharged to the gully trap from the gully trap it is discharged to the manhole but coming to the soil water it is directly discharged to the manhole so in this image this is the top view and this is the section view of the gully trap if you see this is the inlet pipe and this is the outlet pipe so between the inlet pipe and outlet pipe there will be a small gap and the inlet and outlet pipe will not be directly connected so if we don't have this gully trap and the water from the wash basin is suppose directly connected with the first, this manhole what will happen this manhole already also receives the connection from water closer ok. So there is a chance that the fold smell or the water smell will go back to the uh, kitchen sink, kitchen sink, wash basin and the sanitary fixer ok. So that is the reason we are providing the gully trap and the gully trap as I shown that there is a small air gap ok. So that's, that air gap is acting like a water seal to arrest the fold smell or water smell. And uh, if you see here cover level uh, or finished level of the manholes and uh, invert level of the pipes have been given for all manholes here. Here I indicated what is cover level, invert level. For example, I consider manhole 3 section level here. So from C level, that is the imaginary level you cannot see, you cannot see from uh, visible eye. So only your surveyor can make this one. So from the C level 2 pipe inside thickness, ok. So that is called as the invert level. First. Most of the time. People consider invert level means invert level from C level to C level to pipe bottom level. So this is actually this is actually wrong. We should not consider till the pipe bottom level. It should be the inside uh, inside level including the pipe thickness. Then from the C level to the finished ground level, this height is called as a this depth is called as a cover level. Also here I have indicated the waste, uh, water flowing direction with this arrows. So this arrow till the holding tank I have indicated like this. So let's start the first discussion here. So here for the case 1 discussion I have taken these places ok. So then we will see what is this. 
So here in the toilet block, the water from the toilet block is goes to manual number 5. So as I mentioned earlier, the waste water from wash basin, uh, this will go to the gully trap. Uh, from the gully trap, it will go to the manual and the soil water, it will directly go to the uh, manual. Uh, and here, uh, because of one issue, this installation is not acceptable. So I will continue with the case 2, then I will tell you the answer. In case 2, we have same arrangement. I just shifted the tiler block from left side to right side, but the concept is still same. Waste water to gully trap, gully trap to manhole, soil water directly to the manhole. So, uh, so in case 2 also, I have one issue and because of that design issue, this installation is not acceptable, similar to case 1. So, just have a look at this area. Maybe you can find the answer. So now coming to case 3, the concept of waste water and soil water discharge is same, but this installation is acceptable now. So have a look at 3 options and if you find the answer before I am going to tell, so please press the like button. So here is the answer. If you see here inlet and outlet pipe direction I mentioned here. And this is the this is the manhole and this is the building. From the building to this manhole, I can provide the pipe connection in different angle. Okay, based on my toilet location, like this one, like this one, or like uh, like this, uh, and like this. So different angle I can provide to connect with the manhole. So here how I did is this is zero degree and this is the minus ninety and this is plus ninety degree. Okay, so assume in this way for the manual and I have a block here. So the for example here toilet block. So from here the toilet pipe I means the pipe can be connected to the manual like this angle or this angle or this angle or whatever it is, but it between the zero degree to ninety degree. Okay. So whatever shown in as a green color is acceptable. Now assume here the inlet pipe is coming from here to the manhole. Uh, we have the toilet block here. So the, the pipe from the toilet block is coming and connecting with it like this. That is between 0 degree to plus 90 degree, not 0 to minus 90 degree. So we have the connection from uh, this one like this. Uh, this what was seen like red color, the connection is done. Uh, so this is the man, man, main pipe direction and this is the branch pipe receiving direction. So this is what happened here. Here the connection is happening, I mean the connection is receiving to the manhole, which is opposite to the main Main pipe that means this is the main pipe is running like this you are we are receiving the connection exactly opposite to this manhole okay so what happened here the main inlet pipe is coming from here and if you make the connection from a building uh, to this manhole or this uh, going to the main pipe in between this 0 to minus 90 degree it will be in the parallel direction of main pipe but if you make the connection from 0 to 90 degree, what will happen? The main pipe is coming like this and this will be against the main pipe. So main pipe has soil and waste water which has the solid material. Again this uh, branch pipe, the solid material, I mean the solid and waste water is go going to the opposite direction of this main pipe. So whatever the incoming line between 0 to 90 degree is not acceptable. So here for all the building, I was very clear that no building, no manual is receiving the building pipes in the opposite direction. For example, if you see here, uh, I followed the zero degree exactly and here also I am following the same parallel to the main pipe. Okay, I didn't follow the orientation like this or like this. That means not opposite to the uh, main pipe or uh, main uh, manholes. So for, uh, so for your example, if you perform the connection like this, like I show here, because this is the opposite to the main manual, so this is not acceptable and you have to follow the concept like this, okay. Then here, we have 160 mm uh, main pipe for all this uh, connection. I will make a separate video how to finalize this uh, pipe sizing for the uh, internal and external separately. So here, and consider the pipe is 1% slope. So I will tell you how I got this 1% uh, slope from which code I got this one. So as per IPC or international plumbing code, the minimum slope of a horizontal drainage pipe shall be in accordance with the table 704.1. So if you see here, for the pipe sizes 2 and a half inch and less, the minimum slope should be 1 by 4 inch per foot and 3 to 6 inch for the pipe it is 1 by 8 inch per foot and 8 inch and larger it is 1 by 16 inch per foot. So I will quickly tell you 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16 inch per foot means what is the percentage.
so assume here we have a manhole here and we have a manhole here so the pipe is falling from the top to down in this direction and the total depth is 3 inch and the total uh, the length from here to here i mean the center of the manhole to center of the manhole it is 36 inch or 3 feet so how you have to find out the slope is 3 inch that means the vertical depth divided by total length 36 inch you got 0.083 you have to multiply with 100 it is 8.3 percentage so similar way uh, here our case is 1 by 4 inch per foot that means 1 by 4 inch divided by uh, 12, 12 inch is the length uh, 12 inch uh, means for the 12 inch we have 1 by 4 inch slope so 1 by 4 divided by 12 into 100 it is 2 percentage so similar way for the 1 by uh, 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 we are getting 1 percentage and 0 0.5 percentage slope so in our case the pipe size is 160 mm that is between this 3 to 6 inch so i followed 1 by 8 inch per slope that means 1 percentage slope i followed for the complete installation and second important thing is so this here we are discussing about a site office project and when it come when it goes to like a big infrastructure project this slope is determined based on the minimum self cleansing velocity so that that one i will explain in the uh, designing of uh, pipe sizing okay so that in uh, external pipe sizing so the next very important thing is sometimes you might have seen that a designer will size a holding tank or safety tank for example three days holding capacity but the tank will fill in one day that is because the design issue okay so we will see what is that issue in the next videos chapter 2 drainage piping design issues so if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button we will see again with an interesting topic till then bye bye see you